G'day folks, it's DIY Guy 123 here, bringing you another do-it-yourself video. I have a truck and I want to check the tow. Now the tow alignment measurement is the most common one that needs to be adjusted. When you change a tie rod end or the steering rack, definitely the tow will be out of adjustment and you need to check it and bring it in. If you don't do that, your tires will wear prematurely. I looked for a DIY solution and I found this set of tow alignment plates made by Zachman Scientific. Now, they're a pretty basic design. It's a piece of aluminum that's bent in a certain profile with grooves notched out of it. And I'm gonna tell you how it works. You shoot it parked on a smooth, flat, clean surface and you back into the position or drive into the position without turning the steering wheel as you're driving. The last foot or two before you put it in, before you come to a stop, you should basically release the steering wheel to allow the steering to be relaxed. Before you make any adjustments to your alignment, you should check that the wheels are bolted onto the hub tightly, that the bearings are tight, that the bushings are tight, that the tie rod end, inner and outer, and ball joints are all tight. Because if you have any of those that are loose, uh, it, it doesn't make sense to adjust your alignment. Fix those problems, then fix your alignment. Also, if you have a tire that's got a bad belt, and now you have a bulge in the side of the tire, that can be a problem and, and throw off your measurement as well. If in doubt, measure, take a, take a measurement and then back the wheel up, say uh, a quarter of a rotation, one direction or the other, and then retake the measurement. And if you get the same measurements both times, you've proven that your wheel's not warped and your sidewall's not misshapen. So you take one and you center it beside the tire and you lean it up against the sidewall. Now you need a smooth, clean, flat surface for this, and you push it up, and then you take the other one and you do the same thing. Then it comes with two tape measures, and you hook the tape measure through one of the slots on the passenger side, for example, the back slot on the passenger side, and bring it through to the driver's side and hang the tape measure on the outside right here. I'm gonna demonstrate in a minute. And then you do the same thing with the front tape measure. When you take the measurements, if the back measurement is greater than the front measurement, that means the vehicle is towed in, which is typical. It should be towed in a little bit generally. You take that measurement and then you look on the chart. And this chart will convert from the measurement right here. I've got the middle one in inches and the bottom one in millimeters. It'll convert from those measurements to a degree of tow because most manufacturers identify the target tow in degrees. All right, so let's show you how it works. I'm gonna take this, position on the other side, take the tape measure, extend it out, past where it needs to go. Same thing for the back. And now you'll see over here, I've centered the plate and I'm gonna take this tape measure and put it in the middle slot. Depending on the size of your tire, you may wish to use one of the other slots. And now I'll unlock the tape measure so it's spring loaded and put it through the middle slot here. And I'm not gonna lock it again. I'm gonna get the, let the spring tension in the tape measure be enough to hold it in place. Okay, so that spring tension is gonna haul the two plates together gently. And this is how it looks on the passenger side. So the tape measure is tight in towards the center of the plate and the toe plate is pushed up against the sidewall. And now I'm gonna measure the distance here. Now you need to have pretty good eyes because toe measurements are in sixteenths and thirty seconds of an inch. And this one is 76 and 3 eighths. 76 and 3 eighths in the back. And here we are with 76 and a quarter in the front. So that means that the front is towed in an eighth of an inch. Now if we lock the tape measures and set them on the ground. If we look at our table, an eighth of an inch is 0.3 degrees. So I'm gonna look up the spec and depending on if it's too far towed in or too far towed out, 
I'll make an adjustment and recheck with the plates. So let's suppose the wheels are have too much positive toe. That means the fronts are facing too close together towards the center line of the vehicle. And you want to push the front wheels out. Let's pretend. Well, here's the driver's side front wheel as viewed from underneath the front bumper. So let's go in and take a closer look. So what we have here is the tie rod. It's got a threaded rod and a lock nut. And this threaded rod, the inner tie rod, goes inside the outer tie rod end. So to shorten this length right here, you loosen that lock nut and then grab onto the tie rod and then twist it in or out of the outer tie rod end. And if you thread it in, it makes this shorter, which will increase the positive toe. And if you make it longer, it will take the front of the front wheel and push it outward and increase the negative toe or basically decrease the positive toe. It's going to look like this wrench on here to break the lock nut free, and then you'll put a wrench on the tie rod to turn this in or out. And then don't forget to lock the nut when you're done. So of course, you don't just wanna draw in one wheel all the way, because then you could, even if your toe is set right, you may have messed up how your steering wheel is angled. So you wanna make even changes on one side. So if you turn one side in by a half of a turn, do the other side the same amount to draw the wheels in or out evenly and that will keep your steering wheel in alignment. So it's literally that, that easy. A friend of mine changed a tie rod in his driveway and he said, I've got a friend that I can take it to to get a full alignment done, but I'm nervous even to drive it there because of the misaligned tie rod. So we threw this together in his driveway and in five minutes pulled his wheels into alignment. He drove down the road, it drove straight, steering wheel straight. He decided not to bother getting the full alignment done. And here we are checking the total tow for a 2018 Honda CRV. And in the back we have an even 72 inches. And on the front we have 72 and an eighth right there. So if we look on our conversion chart. Right there is the one eighth mark, so total inches, one eighth. That correlates to 0 0.3 degrees total tow. Now, the specification for this vehicle is 0 0.26 degrees to negative 0 0.26 degrees. So this is towed in a little too much compared to factory spec. It's so close, it wouldn't bother to adjust it. That's a pretty quick demonstration of these plates. If you check the description, I'll have a link to where you can buy them. They're quite a neat design, very basic, but extremely effective as you can see. I'm going to have another video published to my channel to talk about how to easily keep your, or set your steering wheel to proper alignment with the front toe. So that'll be an advanced video for another day. Keep checking my channel. Good luck with you do it yourself.